Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Epcot. Actually, I was inspired to come here today because I got a new shirt from the Walt Dandy Clothing Company. It's a Figment shirt, so I was like, you know what? Let's go to Epcot and ride Figment. But I just noticed Test Track is open after being closed for a little while for a refurbishment. So we're gonna see if we can get on that first. Let's go do this. It is a little crazy how excited you get when something's gone for a couple of months or weeks. That's just like Test Track. It was gone for a couple weeks and I was like, wow, I can't wait till it opens up again. But <laughs> I don't know why. I am excited. I am going to use the single rider line though. Let's see how long it says. It says the wait is 30 minutes, but hopefully we get a little break here. Oh, we're looking pretty good. All right, all right. Just about 30 minutes, and now we have finally made it. I don't know if it was quicker to go single rider, or if we could have just went through the standby and skipped the builder car, but we're here. This is definitely a ride where you're gonna lose your hat. A ball. Green Arrow. Hello, the seatbelt check is around the corner. For your safety, remain seated. a good way to start off the day. I even rode test track since I think December when uh, my sister came and my mom, but I love it. So now we're gonna head on over to the other side of Epcot, but I'm a little concerned on how I'm gonna get there because you know, it's a big mess out there. I'm happy that I rode test track when I did because it was only a 30 minute wait for single rider, but look at it now. Holy moly, lots of people here. As we make our way over to Journey into Imagination, you can see we have some topiaries here getting ready for Flower and Garden, but what is Woody looking at? The wall? Or is the wall hiding someone? Yep. <laughs> Poor Bo Peep getting covered up by a wall. It's Bo Peep's place and she's covered up by a wall. Crazy. It's also strange to see no festival happening right now in between Festival of the Arts and Flower and Garden. So they're kind of like, eh, eh. But man, oh man, do I love Flower and Garden. So excited. Just a couple more days. Just look how busy all of the sides of Future World is since they gutted out the middle. It's basically the busiest I've ever seen it because people are forced to actually walk either to the left or to the right. But it's nice, maybe more people go on Figment. And I was right, this is the first time I've ever seen a queue outside for Figment. Wow, that's awesome. Now it's time for imagination. Figment is everywhere. You just use your imagination. Look at that. Oh, oh look at Nigel. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, come on, go to Imagination! <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. G-M-G-M-T, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. Good times, Woo! 
Because you got a wonderful imagination. I do. Oh, yes. Now that we have officially stretched our imagination, I think I'm gonna head to the land and stretch my stomach and see what the soup of the day is. I'm hoping they have the chicken pot pie soup. That one's my favorite. Oh no guys, I think I missed the soup. Every time, why do they take the soup away so early? <laughs> they are like literally closing it up right now. Oh no. The soup ends at 4 o'clock, and I know this, but I must have forgot about it, and it was chicken pot pie. So disappointing. But this is kind of interesting. They added bacon cheeseburgers on a brioche bun with potato chips here, and I bet you that has to do with the fact there's no electric umbrella. They have no, like, traditional quick service restaurant over in future world except for down here so you gotta have that burger option somewhere that's crazy right since there was no soup no soup for me i decided to get the pork loin with the succotash look at that and this is actually made from the vegetables here at the land which makes it kind of special and we got some jasmine rice along with some fingerling potatoes looks really good the potatoes didn't stand a chance but i'll tell you what this is actually really really good and it's got little bits of sausage in it basically all of them separate is pretty delicious but what i want to know is if we mix a little bit of the pork with some rice and some succotash how's it gonna taste so we're gonna cut a little bit of the pork Oh yeah, look at that. That is thick. Oh boy. Then we're gonna get a scoop of the rice, a little bit of the succotash on one, and how am I gonna do this? I don't know. I'm just gonna try to fork it like that. Oh, 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 oh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of the rice, put it on the spoon, a little bit of the succotash, and then we're gonna top it with the pork. Whoop. Just like that. The pork jasmine succotash. That is amazing. Wow. And I'll tell you what, all of it together makes it even better. The pork is so tender and soft. How many times am I gonna spin this plate around? I don't know, but I just keep going and going and going. <laughs> One thing I do wanna point out though, the peppers and the succotash make it a little bit spicy, so be very careful. And the pork is so delicious, especially when you get the little burnt spots like over here. That's the good stuff. And that was delicious. We learned a lot of important things today at the land. Number one, you gotta get here before four if you want soup. Number two, the succotash pork rice combo mixes very well together. And number three, it's hard to eat rice with a pork. One thing I have to say about the, all the construction that's going on in Epcot, look at the view of Spaceship Earth from over here. Usually you had this building block in it. I know I've said it before, but every time I walk past it, it's like I'm seeing a whole nother Earth. Which actually is the way we're gonna make our way out. We walked in 
by the other side where Universe of Energy used to be and now we made like a full circle over here by the seas and that's how we're gonna exit. Oh, I tell you what guys, after that meal, I'm feeling full, but I also did make a mistake today. I bought brand new shoes and I wore them to the park. I didn't wear them in. Shouldn't have done that. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to get some moleskin. Here are my new shoes. I got them at the pawn store. How crazy is that? I had no idea the pawn shops even sold sneakers, but <laughs> I see them there and I like them, so I got them. <laughs> So that's gonna do it for me. Kind of a short day, but I had a lot of fun. It was really nice to get on test track after at least two or three months. And even though I got no soup, the pork was fantastic. So, see you next time. Bye.